Hi everyone, I would just love to take the opportunity to introduce you to two of my new finds that I have found um, while working in classrooms and preparing to teach my own classroom, and that would be Nearpod and Flowcabulary. The first I want to show you is Nearpod, and that can be found by just typing in nearpod.com, that's N-E-A rpod.com and I just wanted to explore their website with you just to show you, show you a couple of things that they can do. This is an interactive and collaborative website where you can um, roll out lessons uh, to your students all at once, um, all synchronized. So whatever is on your screen as a teacher, you can control what is on the student's screens if they are logged in under the same code uh, with your lesson. Like it says, it has over 7,000 ready to run lessons and you can type in any of these subjects and standards that you would like to be teaching on or different subjects and content matter um, that you will be talking about with your students for the day or the week. Um, and they will have a multitude of lessons, no matter the grade, already loaded up onto the website. Some things that you can do uh, when you pull up Nearpod, uh, it is more than just a PowerPoint. You can draw things, use open-ended questions, take quizzes, ask students and make polls. You can collaborate as a classroom. You can even do virtual reality field trips, fill in the blanks, and matching pairs. It's a really powerful tool to get students engaged and using technology for better. Some other things that they can do uh, is if we were to explore some lessons, I can give you an example of some awesome lessons that they have here on Nearpod. As you can see, they have ELA, math, science, social studies, and all different types of subjects. So if we were to go into math, I can pull up a multitude of lessons about numbers and operations, shapes and geometry, advanced math, all grades, all resource types, all subjects. If we were to go back to the home, I can show you a little bit more about how it works. Like I said, it's an interactive lesson that you can give in minutes. It saves the teacher time and it really encourages collaboration and engagement with your students. You can launch lessons all at the same time, have control over what your students' screens are showing, and really capture your students and take student engagement to the next level. So with Nearpod, they have actually collaborated with another website called Flocabulary, which is one that I have also found to be a really powerful tool. Here on Flocabulary, they're, they are actually by Nearpod, and it is a separate resource that actually engages students to, ha to have a bigger vocabulary, but it brings vocabulary to them. So let's see how it works. Basically on vocabulary, what happens is the students are introduced to a video. Every week, vocabulary will make videos. It could be on what's happening in the news. It could be a unit of vocabulary that they'll be learning. And then it'll turn to vocab cards. Students will get the opportunity to study from those cards, play games, read and respond to those cards, and take a quiz. And at the very end, they can have their own fun with these new words they have learned, making their own lyrics for a hip-hop song. Every week, Vocabulary comes out with hip-hop songs about the news or vocabulary that you'll be studying, um, and you can follow along with their units as well. It's a really powerful tool, and it really increases engagement, makes learning uh, vocabulary super fun for all students, um, and even better, it's it's associated with Nearpod. So sometimes Nearpod will even, even incorporate vocabulary into lessons that you can pick with them. Anyways, those are two incredible resources that I have found that I cannot wait to incorporate into my future classrooms, and I really hope that you take these and maybe give them a shot. I would really encourage it.